The day never brought a horizon. Only another suffocating curtain that continued its march east. Oh, it's brutal. It's been blowing 60 miles an hour. Firefighters say the fire's main run came Monday when it burned through 26 square miles in eight hours. That's what's left of the tree row. Of those, 43 acres. Most of that building's gutted and burned out. Belonged to Steve Waller. And then this garage here, the inside of it burned out. Steve was there when the flames arrived. It just gone in a flash. His trees were the first to go, then everything else. We lost two buildings and one truck and tire pasture, tree row, everything. Everything, except. It ripped right through here. This. North side of that Quonset, never burned the grass. The home Steve moved into 15 years ago endured. This is the only damage. You can see where the fire trucks are parked right here, keeping things watered down, so. A testament to the men and women who work so hard to save the dozens of other homes like it. I mean, these guys have been great, and they've been working really hard. I'm really appreciative of everything they've done. These guys probably don't get enough credit for what they do do. Four families will return to their homes less fortunate than Steve. It's uh, been pretty ugly. But as firefighters work towards full containment, good people out here, the horizon will begin to show itself once more. They did a tremendous job. In Haxton, Dan Grossman, 9 News.